It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to February's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. We are coming to you from Bayberry Bowling, not far from Bogey Lanes, where we just shot January shows in Spencer, Massachusetts. On the way, I missed this building. I have no idea how, but I did. Anyway, here it is, and according to the sign, it looks like it's a candle pin place. So it'll be interesting to see what this place has. And since I'm in an area that I'm nowhere near typically, I'm going to hit up every bowling alley on the way home and try to bowl as much as I can. Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to be a sponsor of the hit TV show King of the Palace. Watch Good Bowlers Bowl instead of this stuff. To watch episodes, go on YouTube and search King of the Palace or go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes to subscribe. All right, as you walk through the door, you walk into the arcade, which is a different thing. Usually you walk into the bowling alley first. You got a good array of arcade games, ski ball, more machines here. Try not to get that kid if I did. It wasn't on purpose. And over here in the back, we got the pool hall area. And a couple of more games that snuck its way back here. For some reason, I somehow missed this area. And we got a jumping jackpot that ain't working. And unfortunately, they play music here. So we're going to have to mute the audio as we make the transition here into the bowling alley. And here we are in the land of copyright. There's the alley, 16 lanes, two of them taken up by the Christmas decorations as this was shot in December. As you can see, it's a very busy looking place. There's your prize redemption center in the front desk. And here's another look at the alleys. Very colorful ceiling, that's for sure. Again, because this was shot before Christmas, it's all decorated as such. And here's a look at the back wall, the masking units. And we have automatic scoring. We know what we think of that. That's right. Not very good. They tend to not work too well with candle pin bowling. And we are bowling from lane number six. And now what we're going to do is check the high and low scores as of now. And as stated, here are the high and low scores as of now. Starting off with Candlepin, the low is 44 from a live event at Mason's. And the 136 is from Putnam Lanes, and it was done fairly recently. And I do admit that that was a flukish high score. I don't think we'll be seeing that anytime soon. As for Duckpin, the high of 118 is somewhat respectable. And the low is surprisingly as high as it is still, a 65. You've come close a few times, but didn't get any lower than that. And then the pathetic scores of 10 pin. Only a 112 for a high, and the failed attempt at two-handed bowling with a slippery ball due to lane oil, a pathetic 26. That's not a typo, yes, a 26. Those are the highs and lows as of now, and let's get back to the action. Before we start, we always look at the condition of the house balls. As you can see here, that's yeah, quite a gouge there. That one's all right. That one's pretty good. That one's been patched, so you know it's been taken care of. That one's all right. That one's nasty. And that one's okay, I guess. That one's the worst. I mean, really, really deep one in there. But of course, we don't use those, as we set that one aside, we use our professional grade balls, which are the only thing professional about this show. And now it's time for those famous words you've been waiting for. It's now time to watch me suck at bowling. 
frame one, ball one. With a rough start at bogey, how will things go this time? Ball two. So far we only got three. We need to do a lot better than that. And we start out with a wonderful four. And for those of you that like pin setters, here's the Bullmore Model E in action. Something different. Notice the weird pause of the fence there. And there you go. Frame two, ball one. Got off to a very rough start with that four box. Let's see what we can do now. Only that one so far. Ball two. Ball three. And it's another four. As you can see, we're off to an amazing start. We got a four in both, one and two, for a gigantic total of eight. Championship bound, we are. Frame three, ball one. Hopefully things will turn around, because at this point, we're going for a new low. And denied a strike. Ball two, two places to hit it. And we usually know how that winds up, failing miserably, but will it this time? It worked this time. Spare. Frame four, ball one. Now I'll stick on the bonus ball. And we got an all right five fill, four horsemen left, and the ten. Ball two. All right, Phil, not so all right, leave. Ball three. Let's hope the curse of the Phil isn't occurring where that's all I'm getting. And we end with a seven. We definitely bounced back with a spare and three. And four, we get a seven, which is all right. Five of those making the fill, total of 30. Frame four, ball one. Not bad. Ball two. Ball three, would no good. And an eight. Frame six, ball one. We had to wait for that piece of wood to roll into the gutter before we start. Ouch. Ball three, crap, leave. Those two are very difficult to hit on their own, but it's possible to get a nine or a ten. Just the eight. While things definitely improved from the beginning, it's nothing spectacular. An alright set of 8s and 5 and 6, bringing the total now to 46. Frame 7, ball 1, past the low. At least we got that going for us. And we are left with a Kaliri right, the 4 horsemen, and the 8. Ball 2. 
Very tough to convert, especially with that pin in the back. And now we're left with just the four horsemen right side. All three. The four horsemen live on for a six. Frame eight ball one. Hopefully we can recover from the four horsemen. Let's find out. Not helping. Ball two. Hopefully there will be more than one knockdown this time around. Ball three in an ugly mess. At least there's some wood that could possibly help us. Nine. The four horsemen cost us in frame seven with that six, but then we recovered with a nine and eight. Now we are standing at a 61. Frame nine, ball one, nine from our right. Ball two. Now we're only eight away from 70. And we only get seven. Last frame, ball one, two from an okay. And okay is probably all we're going to get. Ball two. At least we made it there, so it's not going to be a bad game in my book. And more denial of points. Ball three with a reverse half whister. When you don't want a half whister, you get them. But when you do need to make them, nope. The wood help takes one of the pins out for a nine. It was a bit of a rough go, but at least we recovered to some extent. Anyway, the final score, according to this, is a 77. Of course, it'll all be reviewed and be final in the actual video. And that's this week's episode of Watch We Suck at Bowling from Bay Berry Bowling Center in Spencer, Mass. Surprised I could hold the camera that steady, that tight in. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.